Compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. Compounding is the magic of making more money from the money you already have. Think of it as planting a seed that grows into a tree, then using the seeds from that tree to plant more trees. The more trees you have, the more seeds and fruits you get, and the faster your money grows. In this video, we'll show you three ways to identify those compounding methods that can boost your returns and make you wealthier. One that'll increase your value by 30 times, one that'll increase your portfolio value by 70 times, and in the end, we'll show you a compounding strategy that'll boost your portfolio 140 times and add over a million dollars to your portfolio. Let's get right into it. The first way to compound your portfolio is by investing in companies with high ROIC. These are the companies that reinvest their cash flow wisely and have a high ROIC or return on invested capital. This metric shows how good a company is at turning its money to make more money, just like how many apples a tree can produce from one seed. For example, if a company has taken a loan from a bank with 10% interest, its cost of capital is 10%. Now, on that loan, the company makes a return of 15%. This 5% difference is the ROIC. The higher the ROIC, the more cash the company is getting in. If a company reinvests its cash flow at a high ROIC, it means it's using its money to grow its business and make more profits. ROIC not only reflects a company's operational efficiency, but also its ability to provide attractive returns to its shareholders. Now that you know the importance of ROIC, you need to find stocks with a high ROIC. One way is to look for companies that have a high growth in their revenue and gross profit, both revenue and gross profit indicate how well a company is performing in its market and how much value it's creating for its customers. To help you find such companies, here's an example of four stocks. Apple, Cisco, Nike, Expeditors. You can see these companies have high ROIC and growth numbers, showing they're using their cash flow efficiently and effectively to grow their business and value. Let's look at how Expeditors is doing. The company provides logistics and transportation services and has a high ROIC of 25.7%, which means that it's generating a lot of profit from its global network and operations. And these numbers are further reflected in their investment parameters like dividend, dividend growth, and most importantly, share price growth. EXPD has a current dividend yield of 1.09%, backed by a 10-year dividend growth rate of 13.18%, and an average annual share price increase of 11.36%. If John invests $10,000 in a stock with a strong return on invested capital, ROIC, at the end of the first year, his portfolio will be valued at $11,246. The same portfolio after 10 years will be valued at $32,631. Now the compounding effect, thanks to the company's high ROIC, can be seen. After 20 years, the portfolio will reach $108,734. And in 30 years, the same portfolio will be valued at $371,511. This means that in 30 years, the high ROIC stock has added $315,704 in capital appreciation and $45,807 in dividends to John's portfolio. Now, these numbers double and triple with coming strategies. In the end, we'll show you a strategy that will make you a millionaire with one stock. Before adding a company to your investment list, check if they're buying other companies. This is called acquisition. Some companies buy others to protect themselves or grow, but not all acquisitions are good. If a company buys a lot to protect itself, it might mean it can't grow on its own. This can slow down your investment too. It's better if a company has good profits to make money and grow. So, watch out if a company is more focused on avoiding losses than winning in the market. 
Defensive moves can only do so much. It's the aggressive moves that bring big rewards. The next way to compound your portfolio is to add companies that use cash flow for buybacks. Now for the second way of compounding your portfolio. We look at buybacks. This is a financial strategy by the corporations to reduce their number of shares in the market by buying it from the market. When a company buys back its own shares, there are less shares to divide the profits among, so each remaining share becomes more valuable. By using a buyback strategy, the company is saying, we believe our shares are undervalued. This can make your shares worth more over time as there are fewer of them to go around and your piece of profit gets bigger. For example, a company has 1 million shares outstanding, earns $2 per share, and trades at $30 per share. It has a price-to-earnings ratio of 15, that is $2 per share times 15, which equals $30. But what happens if this company buys half of its shares back? Its earnings per share will become $4. If the market continues to value the company at 15 times earnings, the stock price should trade up to about $60, a big jump in capital gains for you. But if you remain in a stock where buybacks are high, it's important to assess the overall health of the company, since a decline in earnings will ultimately take the shares down. Also important is to look at the stock buybacks relative to the cash flow the company is generating from operations. Some of the best buyback companies to look at are WR Berkeley, Alphabet, MasterCard, Tractor Supply Company. Let's dissect WR Berkeley's current buyback yield, which stands at 2.92%, signaling an active effort to repurchase its shares and suggesting the company's confidence in the undervaluation of its stock. That means your investment now would be more than just fruitful. Examining the recent performance, there's been a 4.89% dip in the stock price over the last year, indicating a potential decline in investor confidence or challenging market conditions. However, taking a broader perspective, the stock has exhibited a quick 117.62% increase over the past five years, showcasing a positive long-term trajectory. The 10-year picture is even more appealing, with an impressive growth of 265.21%, suggesting that Berkeley's strategic moves, including share buybacks, have contributed significantly to shareholder value over the past decade. For your portfolio, a company with high buybacks is good, but then, at the same time, you need to be wary of the companies that pay down debt like there's no tomorrow. Paying it down too aggressively might not always be the super move you think it is. Debt can be a useful tool to finance growth and create value. For example, if a company borrows money at a low interest rate and invests it in a project that has a high ROIC, it can increase its earnings in value. However, some companies pay down debt too aggressively, even when it's not necessary. This can be a mistake because it means that the company is using its cash flow to reduce its liabilities instead of increasing its assets. Instead of paying down debt too aggressively, you should look for companies that have good debt management and high interest coverage. These companies can balance their debt and equity and use their cash flow to invest in profitable projects that can compound their portfolio quickly. Now John is looking for some good buyback stocks and finds WR Berkeley stock is a good choice and invests 10 grand into WR Berkeley. Like our last example, he wants to hold this one for 30 years as well, for capital appreciation. The stock has a current dividend yield of 0.3%, backed by a 10-year average dividend growth rate of 9.51%. And most importantly, the stock has a strong 10-year average annual share price increase of 15.25% thanks to consistent share buybacks. Based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 in this stock with a strong buyback strategy, after just one year, his initial investment would be worth $11,555. Fast forward 10 years, and that same portfolio would quadruple to $42,188. After 20 years, the portfolio would have expanded to an impressive $176,386.
By the time 30 years have passed, the value of the same portfolio would have surged to $733,782. In simple words, over the course of 30 years, the high share buyback meant more profit share and share price appreciation for John, which would have contributed $719,845 in capital appreciation, significantly compounding the value of his portfolio. Now we move to our final strategy to compound your portfolio. Finding those companies that use their cash flow to pay their dividends and make you a millionaire. Dividends are important for your portfolio because they can help you earn more money without having to sell your shares. You can use your dividends to buy more shares of the same company or invest in other companies that can compound your portfolio quickly. This way, you can increase your number of shares and your dividend income over time. Remember that high-flying smartphone company with a killer ROIC we talked about earlier? Now you can take those dividend dollars and plow them right back into that company. It's like doubling down on a sure bet. So here's the grand scheme of things. You are in this cool compounding cycle. The dividends buy you more shares, the company keeps growing, your shares get more valuable, and the cycle continues. It's like building a snowball of money rolling down a hill. It starts small, but it gets massive as it rolls. Now, some of the companies that you can add to your watch list are Visa Incorporated, Verizon Communications, PepsiCo, Johnson & Johnson, these are the companies that pay you a nice chunk of their profits, grow their dividends over time, and use their capital efficiently to generate more profits. Let's focus on Visa Incorporated, known by the ticker symbol V. This stock has a current dividend yield of 0.8%, backed by a strong average dividend growth rate of 18.33% and an annual share price appreciation of 16.8%. This means if John puts $10,000 into this stock, after one year his money grows to $11,760. In 10 years, it will increase five-fold to $50,924. This happens because the company behind the stock is great at making profits, and that helps John's money grow faster. In 20 years, John's money becomes a whopping $263,660. And after 30 years, it's even bigger at $1,393,000. In those 30 years, this stock added $1,284,076 in capital appreciation to John's portfolio and a dividend reinvestment of $98,924, all with an initial investment of just $10,000 and by selecting a good compounding stock to compound his portfolio. These compounding stock selections will help you find the best stocks for portfolio growth, but maybe you want to invest in index funds. For this, watch our video on the 7 best index funds that'll make you a future millionaire.